We will now have a look at the maximal force test, also known as the one repetition maximum. We can select to do this test at one side or both sides. We can select the weight, or the weight where we start our trial repetitions and the rest after we have done the trial repetitions. We first will do one repetition to set the range of motion for this maximal force test. We asked for three trial repetitions. Within these three trial repetitions, we have to find the proper weight to perform the one RM, the one repetition test. We did the trial repetitions. We got the cooldown and we now have to set the weight. We select the weight and we set the weight at 20. That means 20 kilos at the machine. And we ask one repetition, maximum speed, maximum force up and slowly down. We can accept this or we can say no, maybe you can perform better. And you also see previous. If you say you can do better but you will not manage, you can save the previous performed test. We accepted the test and now move to the involved side. We get the same three trial repetitions to perform as a warming up and find the weight for the one repetition test. We do the three repetitions, we get the cooldown and we set the weight. In this example, we select the same weight. We ask our patient again to do the maximal speed, maximal performance up, slowly down, and we accept also this test. So we have a one repetition on the involved and a one repetition on the uninvolved side. And those will be compared. In the graph, we look at the concentric. Eccentric is not important in this test. The concentric, we see the difference in the curve, but the weight was the same. So in a normal machine with one repetition maximum, we say no deficit. But what we see, there's a difference in force, the position of peak, the total work and the power. And it's all because there is a difference in speed. So the involved side was able to do the 20 kilos, but not at the same speed. We can print and get all the results.